One thing that we always try to do is find ways to play a little bit of offense um, in, in a tough environment or a volatile environment. Um, so this can include tax loss harvesting and, and possibly looking to eliminate or reduce capital gain taxes, uh, and then also possibly even reduce income tax. Uh, another strategy we like to implement for clients that it's relevant for would be dollar cost averaging. If clients are sitting on larger than normal amounts of cash, maybe they receive some sort of lump sum compensation uh, to kind of slowly work their way into the markets over a strategic period of time. Um, also, dollar cost averaging as it relates to the 401k. And many times we'll advise clients uh, allocate more of the new contributions going into the plan, more stock based as a way to kind of buy the dip during this bear market. Uh, now, that's a strategic move and something that should be done in the context of you know, an overall plan um, and, and whether that can be uh, withstood from a risk perspective for clients. But something that we think can be very valuable as we get a market rebound right now, we're trying to get clients to think that are active 401k participants. We just want to acquire shares, right? We want to, we're going to be able to buy more at lower prices right now. When that eventual rebound uh, occurs, we're going to see a nice lift coming out of that and utilizing the 401k plan or an investment that you're making consistent contributions to as a large driver of growth. There, there is opportunity, though, as we mentioned before, rising inflation. So that's given way to some investment opportunities. I-bonds, for example, we're having a lot of discussions with clients and putting that on their radar. I wrote a piece on it that's on our website uh, that explains the opportunity in I-bonds. So that's buying a direct bond from the government, but you're getting a kicker for inflation. And with inflation being elevated right now, you have yields over 9% in I-bonds. Um, so that's something to really take a look at and take advantage of. And then a great way to play a little bit of offense um, would also be to look strategically for possible Roth conversions, uh, converting assets into Roth IRAs, which will benefit from tax-free growth and tax-free withdrawals. So we're in a, a period where the market's down, things are on sale, right? You have stocks down over 20%, many times bonds are down 10. A diversified portfolio, your traditional 60-40, is down 15% right now. Uh, if it makes sense, because it will increase income tax, possibly converting some assets from IRA to Roth so that the eventual recovery or rebound or long-term growth will be tax-free. Um, again, that is very specific to an individual and their uh, plan, but if it's appropriate and they were eyeing a Roth conversion maybe at some point later in the year, we're accelerating that and we're having the discussions and converting uh, IRAs to Roth at this point now.